Hi, everyone. We're back. We are back on Gacha Memories. This is going to be a Gacha Memories redo since the last time we were here, we got. Oh, wait, that's the gallery. Last time we were here, we got the cuckoo ending for. And we did a, a Charlotte May and DJ final story. And now we're back we're back on here to claim another ending. Or to claim another story, which of course is Psycho and Phantom. And in this one, I have to clear either Mooney, Ellie, or Mitsuko's good ending. So, that's why I'm back. Ready? It's time to it's time to enter a new storyline. And no, my name is not Summoner. It's Travis as always, or Travis H. Just Travis. Screw it. Ever since I ever since I was little, I was finally fantasized of one of one day through a grand adventure. Playing through numerous games, reading countless books, I always try to expand some of my free time, living the lives of the protagonist. It was pretty fun. And even if it left me without many friends, I always found myself craving for an adventurous life. Although I never really expected it to actually happen. This all changed though. Three months ago, I was minding my own business, playing yet another gadget game, and I had downloaded from the online store. Of course, the fourth wall break, of course. When I suddenly found myself surrounded by light. The next thing I know, I was f fighting for my life against weird monsters while being taught about how to use the sword by a cute fairy. Which, of course, is Ellie. That had been the scariest and most exciting thing I had ever that had ever happened in my life. My dream had actually come true. It most definitely did. Yet, I was surprised it was not all glory and laughter. There was plenty of despair involved. Still, I remained determined and somehow managed to save everyone. This is probably Gatch World related from the looks of it. And of course, this is my home. I opened my eyes. Looks like I was reminiscing while half asleep, huh? Of course, this is how I always started out. Ah, I stretch myself and look around my room. It's quite plain, a bed, a desk, with my precious computer on it. A closet, nothing fancy. I have been living alone for the past year. It's not that I'm an orphan or something. I just managed to get into a good school away from home. <laughs> I guess it was for the best. Sometimes, I miss my family. I never really let the loneliness get to me before. Until I came to live here, that is. No friends, my family far away. I had only my games to keep myself company. Of 
don't even think of that as my foreseeable future. I mean, I have Kaylee. It was pretty hard at the beginning, but now? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I gaze at my phone and unlock it. Two new messages. And I know exactly where they're, who they're from. Looney. Good morning, guinea pig. And of course she calls me guinea pig. Good morning, Travis. It's from Ellie. How wonderful. I chuckle to myself. Yeah. I have friends now. It's not so lonely. Even if they live on a different... On a different world. Probably right about that. Looney and Ellie, those two always go out of their way to message me, even if only to say good morning. It's touching, really. It's always that touching. Out of everyone I've met on my journey, they are the two that I feel closest to. Like, they're my best friends. Of course they're my best friends. Ellie, because of the time we spent together on the other world. Looney, because after the whole corruption incident, she started to talk to me more and more. Occasionally using me to test some new feature she wants to try out. <laughs> and of course, we know how she is with, with uh, features and stuff. Hence why she occasionally calls me guinea pig. <laughs> I rather should have been called Tess Monkey. Smiling, I send my replies for them, and get up to get ready for the day. Although I sometimes wonder how exactly they know when I'm awake or not. Anyway, I don't have school today, since it's a Sunday, so I might as well go over to Looniverse. I'm ready, or I'm ready. Since I'm going to Looniverse, I decide to wear my summoner clothes. They always give me a sense of nostalgia after that. I take my ring off. The ring that I'm wearing is no common ring. It was given to me by Ellie, after all. It's so kind. I close my eyes and concentrate. I can now feel a heavier weight on my hand. There it is. The, the sword. Simple looking, yet it shines as if it was new. This sword is much more powerful than what one would assume. Yep. This lady has been with me ever since the beginning of the corruption incident. And even though it was once used against me, I can't help but feel attached to her. Like I once said about Kaylee, how I'm always attached to her. That's not the key issue right now. There's a certain warmth coming from it. Like I was enjoying being in my presence. Sometimes I could swear the sword was alive. Could be. Teleport Gatcha Moon. 
The world faded in colors as the power of the Gachasaur took effect. Absolutely. The feeling of slightly vertigo and weightlessness took me for a moment, but before I knew it, I felt solid ground on my feet again. I made it. Ah, Gacha Moon. The place that seems to be made out of a shining rainbow, which... How colored the ground. How colored the ground is. And how much it shines. <sighs> of course. It's always night here, but since the ground shines so much, it's rather easy to see around. This place is almost barren, and although beautiful, there is only one person who lives here. The creator of this universe. That, of course, is Lumi. Now, I just need to walk a little to find her home. That's me walking. Oh, and, uh, just a little, oh, and just so you know, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, this storyline is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be making different choices throughout this storyline, just, just so you know. Yeah, it's pretty hard to miss such a unique shaped house, her palace, as she calls it, is shaped like a futuristic building in the general shape of a duck. Ah, boy. Freaking... ducks. I swear, <laughs> Lumi sometimes. Yeah, still, yeah, she still has that duck addiction. Anyway, I walk up to the front door of her house. I don't need to ring anything, or even text her of my presence, for you see. Yeah. Yes. Hey, I knew you'd be here. Come along. Of course. Oh my God. The voice is the voice is the, the voice is on. That makes the storyline even better. That makes Gacha memories. Do a uh, redo even better. Hex, yeah. Coming in. She somehow always knows when I'm on Looniverse. Even though I never see cameras around. Oh well. She always greets me with a smile. So I don't mind. I forgot that voice was on. Yes. Hello, Looney. How are you today? Fine, I'm fine, but enough of that. Don't stay outside. Come in. <laughs> okay, I'm coming in. Looney takes my wrist and pulls me in her house. The door closing behind me automatically. Honestly, she seemed so serious back then. I got the shock of my life when I saw the more casual side of this world's creator. I have something new I want you to try. What is it? Oh boy, here we go again. She pushes me to sit on the sofa, throwing herself on one on the one across me. She takes a duck-shaped pillow and hugs it. <sighs> Looney and ducks. <laughs> Would be kidding me. So what do you have for me this time? I see no harm in playing along. It tends to be one of the ways we hang out with each other. Besides, it's fun. Of course. I always say it's fun. Here, have 
Universal GPS. Oh, Universal GPS, huh? She hands me a circular gadget about the size of a smartphone. It's blue and it has a touch screen in the middle. Wow, this this looks very wonderful. Huh? Huh. It doesn't seem like it's gonna blow up on my on my face. Of course not. I always know what I'm doing. Okay. No, I'll let it slide. Right. Like the time you made a toaster that creates bread from atoms, and when I tried it, it exploded on my face? Uh, I already said sorry. This time I made sure to test it. <laughs> well, alright. I trust you on this one. Oh, fine. What does it do anyway? Oh, you'll love it. I created it so it can always tell you where you are, no matter what world you're on. Wow, that, that's incredible. Also, it can show the nearest and safest path to your destination, and even project a 3D map. This, look, this looks so cool, Looney. Thank you. She quickly went from sad to happy, but huh, that does sound pretty interesting. I hope it actually works. Well, how do I start it? Just say, I love Looney. <laughs> oh, I came up with this accusation the first time. You think I'm you think I'm that attracted to you? Are you trying to are you trying to get me away from Kaylee? That's not gonna happen, Looney. No, she's watching right now. I embarrassed myself before, I'll heck it, I'll do it again. I love Looney. I love Looney. Ignoring my own burning checks, I looked at the U UGPS. It wasn't turned on, and then I looked at Looney. I... <laughs> I didn't expect you to actually say it. Oh, that time I had to read it, but... <laughs> oh, the irony. The humorous irony, man. Or as I have to say, my girl. She actually looked rather cute with an embarrassed expression on her face, but I'm pretty sure I am blushing myself. <sighs> well, you're the one who said that. It w you're the one who said that was the password. It was supposed to tease you. I said that because I wanted to see if you do a spit take. Well? I did, didn't I? I'm not drinking anything, though. Yeah, that's what I should have said. Ah, uh, I knew I was forgetting something. What is it? Even so, you're the one who is supposed to be embarrassed, not me. <laughs> what? I mean, I am embarrassed, I mean. So that means you're embarrassed. No, I'm not. You're the one who is. I actually am. You are too. Am not. Are too. Am not. Are too. Am not. R2 am not are not am too <laughs> man that man this is fun <laughs> I win 
that's no fair. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, I got you there, Lumi. You. She fell into silence. Okay, now I'm feeling slightly guilty, but what can I say? We do those sorts of things occasionally, but we are friends after all. Besides, her expressions are cute. Her expressions are always cute. Okay, stop. I'm simping. Quit it. <laughs> anyway, what is the actual password? Don't just say anyway. Uh, what was that, Looney? You know I'm right in front of you, right? What? Ah, uh, whatever. I'll let it slide this time. Yeah, okay. The password is, of course... Ducky. Do I even have to say it? The catchphrase of Booker T, Shucky, Shucky, Quack, I'm Shucky, Ducky, Quack, Quack by Booker T, of course. Do I even have to say it? <laughs> Some password that is. I should have guessed. <laughs> I should have guessed. Oh, man. Very well, then. Ducky. I watched in fascination as the device turns on. It starts loading, and after a while, I can see a chibi loony telling me, You're on Gacha Moon. In my house. Well, it didn't blow up. <laughs> Was it supposed to? Probably one. Huh. That's pretty neat, actually. Yes, it is. Isn't it? I think I did well this time. Oh, yeah. You did very well, Lily. Great job. You can take it with you. Use it when you can. I'd like to collect some data from you. Oh. Not making any more spoilers. Like, I already did this storyline the first time. Well, I don't see why not. I might come in hand. It might come in hand. Thanks, Lumi. I smile at her. She seems pleased. Of course, because I tried it out. You're welcome, Travis. You're my friend, after all. Sure we are. We're always friends. Always and forever. Hmm. I decided to put the gadget in my pocket. I haven't seen Ellie yet. She should normally... She would normally be here already. Yeah, where is she? Hey, Lumi? Where's Ellie? Hmm. She was awake, but I think she went back to sleep. She was saying something about having trouble sleeping the night before. Yeah, usually she goes... Well, she's nothing like my grandmother, though. I mean, alright. Trouble sleeping? I wonder what's up. You wanna go check on her? Although, you should not first. Yes. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it first instead of just teleport into her room. Hmm. This does, this does bother me a little. Ellie did tell me once that she she still had nightmares about the corruption incident. And although she said it, she said it in a casual tone, 
it makes me wonder how, I mean, it makes me wonder now if there's, if there's truth to it. There could be truth to it. Oh, crap, I'm mad. I believe I should. Where is her room? Oh, it's on the third floor, on the left corridor. It should be the first door you see. Okay. Thanks. I should go see if she's alright. Yeah, good idea. I should go there and see her. Mooney doesn't seem to mind. Well, of course she doesn't. I mean, Ellie's my friend, too. Hey, Travis. What is it, Looney? I turn back. Be gentle on her. Alright? Do what you think you should do to make her feel better. Uh, I'll do my best, Looney. Looney. I will. With that, I walk towards the elevator to her house. I mean, of her house. Sorry. And that's when the and that's when the sad vibes come in. I'm on the third floor. Nui said that Ellie's room was at the left corridor, on the first floor. As I approach the door, I can hear some muffled sounds. God, is that Ellie? Oh my God, is that Ellie? It sounds like someone's crying. I approach Ellie's door as I though the sounds are coming from inside. Is Ellie all right? I decide to knock on the door. Ellie, are you all right? It's me. Travis. I can clearly hear the concern on my own voice. I wait a few seconds, but I receive no answer. Did she not hear me? I'm starting to get worried. Of course, I am. I don't want to go. I don't want to go inside now, but. I don't want to be called a sicko just by not knocking. I want to call her again louder. I shake my... I shake my head. Ellie likely wouldn't want me to suddenly appear in front of her if she's crying. I want to know how she is. Ellie! It's me! Travis! Are you alright, Ellie? I called worriedly out to her while banging on her door. I could hear a gasp come from in from the inside. Just a moment, please. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I would have done that. I heard her voice. She seemed out of it. Should I have to come and see her instead? Now I now I can only wait as I presume. She is collecting herself before stepping out. Oh, by the way, this video is going to end one more minute. It's 10.32. After a moment, even as I feel my heart growing heavier in worry, I can hear the door unlocking. Out come a sad-looking Ellie. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't go to see you earlier. I was taking a nap. Oh, don't, uh, don't worry, Ellie. Well, guys, uh, as much as it pains me to, uh... Oh, shoot. Wait a minute, I forgot to save it. Oh, I'm 
I'm sorry I didn't go to see you earlier. I was taking a nap. I'm saving it. I'm I am not going to Okay, I get shoot. Okay. All right, that's it for Gacha Memories redo. Yeah, that's I mean, hot dang, this is pretty amazing. I forgot I at least I got the at least I kept the voice on. I made things a little bit better. Why didn't I do that the first time I I tried it? I mean, <laughs> what the freak is wrong with me? Okay, guys, um, I'm gonna end this video here, uh, tomorrow, SMG4, the SMG4 movie, Western Spaghetti, I think I have another solution, it's the only solution I have, make a premiere reaction video on the YouTube app, and then, Toy Blast. Since now that SML uploaded earlier this afternoon, stay tuned for. So just stay tuned for Toy Blast and hopefully a uh, a NASCAR 21 Ignition live stream as long as nothing bad ever happens or stupid. But so for now, have yourself a good night.